Hey guys, I have a pretty big haul to show you. Um, I went out, I don't know, everywhere the last couple of days. So it's it's a bunch of mixed up stores. But let me see. I'm just going to go all over the place, I guess. Went to Walmart. Just picked up some boring stuff. Freezer bags. I finally remembered to get my gloves, which usually I get these at the grocery store, Market Basket. But I remember them. No, I didn't remember them. I saw them when I was at Walmart, so they're a little bit more there, which is weird. But I got those. Um, some press and seal. I went there to get these spray bottles put homemade cleaning stuff in. So I grabbed two of those. Those are only a buck a piece. And they're pretty big. Um, I don't know. How many ounces? 32. 32 ounces. And they had fabric softener on sale, so I grabbed a bottle of that. 60 loads. I think it was like two something. It, it was a good sale. Probably should have got two. I got some of this bath stuff that I use that I've been out of for a long time. This stuff is great. It makes your skin over time just just great. <laughs> like if you have any problems with your skin or any marks or anything and you use this, I don't know, a couple times a week or maybe once a week for a while, you'll see a big difference. This is the one I get. It's a blue box. And it's um, vitamin E. Moisturizing bat beads. I don't know why it says that. It's powder, but I got two boxes of that. I stopped in the antique store the other day. And I found this. This is really cute. This is glass. And, it, you know, it looks like a lamp, but it's a candle holder. Let's see. Let's try it out. The only candle I could find in my house was this orange one. Hmm. Get in there. Well, you get the idea. I have to get a smaller one, a white one. I thought that would go good in my craft room. And what else? I found this at the antique store. I thought this was pretty neat. This is a. I gotta take that paper off. That was the tag of what it what, what it is. It's a lobster tail dish. So you know how when I mean <laughs> lobster, it's not lobster, it's shrimp. Hold on a second. Hi hey, Bobo. <laughs> it's a shrimp tail dish. You know, people eat shrimp or shrimp, you know, shrimp cocktail or whatever. And they bite the shrimp off and there's the tail. There's a little dish to throw the tails in. I thought that was very cute and absolutely necessary. <laughs> also from the antique store, I found this. See the front? It's red and gold and has little umbrella snowflakes and raindrops. It's a little, it's a little tin. And inside is a rain hat. I thought that was so freaking cute. And the last thing from the antique store, which I've never seen one of these before, and when I brought it up to the register, the girl told me she'd never seen one either, is this, which is very cute. It's a lipstick holder. How neat is that? So, I'm wondering if lipsticks from today will fit in it. Well, kind of. These definitely won't. They're square. That one won't. See? It holds four. Oh, this hole is bigger than that one. Hmm. I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. And let's see. And then from a flea market, I found this hat. 
is very cute. And actually, I got that to put on this hat holder in my craft room. Oh, yay, it fits. It goes on there. I guess I could take the doily or whatever you call it off. It's a hat holder. Isn't that cute? So cute. I think I got that at the thrift store, the hat holder. Now at the consignment store, the other day I got this. It's really pretty. Green metal. It has pink roses and this glass inside. Glass bowl. I just used it to store some craft stuff in. I don't know how weird I sound. I'm all congested. My allergies are acting up. Also from the flea market. Um, this lady had a table and everything was a dollar. That's where I got the hat, actually. I got it for a dollar. And she had this package of cards that I picked up and put back down. But she told me they were pop-up cards. So, let's check them out. Let me move some of this. Oh, and I got this, too, from Walmart. This odd chapstick from my brother. It says that it's men's chapstick. <laughs> it's flat, so it can fit in their um, fifth pocket in their jeans. Anyways, let's open these up and see what we have here. These are just little cutouts. Pop dots. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, all right. Ready? How cute! Oh, that's pretty. And then you put the cutout over here. Let's see what else there is. That is so cute. And this one. Stand up straight, guys. Okay. Yeah, that one's not that great. <laughs> this one. Eh, that one's not that great either. Actually, that one's kind of freaky. Alright. Hmm. Nothing there. Well, the first one was cute. Aww. It's kind of like the first one, but it has a bird. Definitely worth the buck. See, you put the little cut out there. Add it, one more. I think that's it. Yes. So those are cute for a buck. I found these at the yard sale. No, not yard sale, flea market. Um, they're just body washes. And actually, this one, this is beautiful by Estee Lauder which I've been wearing this perfume since I was about 14. I remember it coming with this um, body wash. It smells very good. It smells just like the perfume. Mmm, just in body wash form, if that makes sense. And this one is the Juicy body wash. Actually, this, this one was brand new. Mmm, this smells really good. I have the perfume and it doesn't smell like that. It smells good, but this smells really good. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Tape. <laughs> Tape was marked down for a buck. Uh, da, 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 da. 
stopped at the local natural store and picked up some of the soap that I like to use. This is that Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap in lavender. I got two of those. I also got a pumpkin cookie, which is pretty good. Pumpkin spice cookie. And I got some loose leaf tea. This is just um, Earl Grey. So it's like uh, a black, black tea with a hint of orange flavor. And I buy this from there sometimes. But what I wanted to do was try these out. These are tea bags. They sell them at the, the same store. So you just put your tea in it and I don't know. To sail press with a household iron. <laughs> oh boy. Or a curling iron. Okay. I'm going to use a straightening iron. Brooke has a straightening iron. No kidding, huh? Hmm. That's pretty neat. We'll have to try those out together. I don't know how many are in hand, does it say? Wow, 40. I think that's pretty neat. Um, I got this from there too. Because I'm all congested, I was trying to find something that I could take or something I could use that would help. I can't take um, certain medicines because I take allergy medicines. So I found this. And this is a aromatherapy inhaler. And it has, um, hold on a second, let me see. Peppermint, eucalyptus, menthol, and lavender. And actually it works really good to get you unstuffed. And it's so strong that all you have to do is hold it near your nostril and inhale it. And it helps unstuff you. Pretty cool. This is from Michael's, and this is new. I'm actually... Wait a minute. Oh no, did I get the wrong... No, I didn't. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited about this. This is um, decoupage, but... Let me see. They came out with these little little bottles with the brush already attached to it. And there's matte and gloss in here. So, any scrapbookers or crafties. This is a this is a neat new product. Let's open it up and see. And I was surprised it wasn't that pricey either. I think it was like well, I don't know, five something. See, this is decoupage. So basically, what this is is um, kind of like, kind of like Mod Podge. This one is matte. Let's see. Very neat. Has the brush right attached to it. And these are these are pretty neat because I'll just keep refilling these and gloss. Very neat. I keep those on my desk. I stopped at Barnes and Noble to pick up the second Dexter book for Dave. He read the first one, so I went and got him this one. The show just ended. I think it was the last series. So this is the second book. It's called Dearly Devoted Dexter. They're small. I found this book at the thrift store. This is the Stephanie Plum series. And I just pick them up every time I see one that I don't have. Because she has a whole collection of them. And I'd like to have the whole collection. So this is the tenth one. And it was really cheap. It was uh, $3.75. This I found at the thrift store. This is one of those jewelry trees. I think this one holds earrings. See the little holes in the leaves? I'm going to spray paint it white. Paid $1.99 for it. It's all metal. Oh, that pot's wood. This pot's metal. 
I'm going to paint it white and probably use it in my craft room. I went in TJ Maxx because I always go in TJ Maxx. <laughs> And they've had all their fall and um, Thanksgiving and all that stuff out for a while. So, But these I haven't seen yet. And these are very cute. I have this thing with trees. I don't know why, but like tree pitches and statues. and I don't know. I just like tree stuff. So this is really cute. It has the colors of fall. And the tree trunk has a little hat on it. It's very cute. See? I like it. There's two here. They both have the design on them. And they were, where's the price? Their towels like this are always priced really good. And these are, these are like, um, let me see, 100% cotton. They're heavy duty too. $5.99. Isn't that a good deal? They're too pretty to freaking use. That's the problem. <laughs> and then I was looking for some Thanksgiving ones. For on my stove, I actually don't have any Thanksgiving ones for on the stove. I found this little guy. It's very cute. And then the other one looks like that. Which, I don't know, I, I'm like weird about them being different or when they only have one with the design. But I guess this is alright because, you know, it matches. So they'll look cute next to each other. And these were $5.99 too. Also from TJ Maxx, these are new. I have not seen these. These are ice cream containers, which I do not have the best of luck with making ice cream. There's a video on that. <laughs> um, but I figured I could use these for making slush too. So, these are really neat. They're, I don't know what this is, but it's a quart size. It's dishwasher safe and BPA free. And the top, uh, look at the top's cute. They had yellow and pink, so I got the yellow. See, it says sherbet or sorbet, sorbet, whatever you call it. Gelato, ice cream. And the top's rubber. Whoops. See? Those were really cute. I think they're really cute. I got two of them. Actually, they only had one at TJ Maxx. The other one I found at Marshall's. I wasn't even looking for it either. I forgot. They're $5.99. They also had real little ones like this big. Um, I don't know why. But they did. These came from TJ Maxx. I don't know exactly what my problem is with measuring cups and measuring spoons but I seem to buy them all the time so <laughs> these are bamboo fiber and I really like this stuff they had the cups but um, one of them was broke it was the only one they had so I don't know they're just they're just really cute yes the measuring spoons are cute they look like little um, bowls, don't they? Mixing bowls. And I love the colors. So, I got them. <laughs> they were $3.99. These are pretty neat. I'm sure some of you have seen these. Michaels carries them now. Um, I actually found these at TJ Maxx, though. They were $1.99. And you guys know the um, Push Pop ice cream? This is on the same idea, only what they're doing now is filling these with cake and stuff. So you do, see, you bake a cake, or buy a cake, whatever, and you put one layer of cake, and you put either frost in, or you could do like a angel food cake, which actually... No, that wouldn't, I don't know if that would work because of the way angel food cake is. But you could do pound cake and then add strawberries and some Cool Whip. And then you just keep layering it. And with the, the push, you push it up. The little caps come off. 
They're neat. Um, I've seen them, but I haven't bought this the first time I bought any, so I'm going to try them out and see how they are. Another spray bottle. This is pretty nice. I found this at uh, TJ Maxx. It was $10. It's extremely heavy. It's granite, so it's a pinch bowl. And, you know, you just put your salt in it or whatever. But I like this one, well, because it was granite and it was just different. And I've never seen the salt bowls with two spots. So you could put your salt in here and your pepper in here or your, I don't know, guys, just put something in it. <laughs> and if you turn it this way, <laughs> or if you put it this way, I don't know, you can do stuff with it. I liked it. I think it's nice. <laughs> now, um, I got this last weekend, but I seen there, they had another one there and it's marble. All right, let's see. This is an old time favorite. Anybody from, um, I would say Mass, maybe not just Boston, but a lot of people from Mass would know about this. This is fruit flavored popcorn. And we used, I used to eat it all the time when I was a kid. Actually, I didn't eat it all the time. The only time I ate it was when we went to like uh, Faneuil Hall or Quincy Market or parts of Boston like that. Or even at the train station you could you could buy this. And they still sell it there today. But it's just popcorn. All different colors. And it's flavored. It's like orange, um, strawberry, grape, lime. I, you know, it sounds gross when you say it, but it's really good. I don't know if that's even the flavors that it is. So, this isn't um, exactly the same, but it's similar. And they had two bags of it at Marshall's. It was $2.99. So I grabbed two bags of it. This I was very excited to find. I know, stuff's falling over. Um, any Again, anybody that crafts knows that these mats are pricey. Actually, they can get really pricey. So, this one that I have on here, I actually found at the flea market. I think I paid five bucks for it, which is very cheap for one that size. And the one before that I got at Big Lots for a couple of dollars from um, the Martha Stewart collection, but I ruined it. So, at Marshall's, they had these, and these are even better because these are the self healing ones. So these you can make cuts in and it just um, closes back up. They're pretty neat. They got this stuff in them. And it was uh, $7.99 which is really good for one of these self healing mats. So it's a craft mat. It goes on your desk. It's a good size too. Let's see, we'll measure it. My battery's dying. I mean, not my battery, my memory's running out. Hmm. Okay, quick, because I'm almost out of memory. So, this, I was very excited about this, because these are very hard to find, I've noticed. There we go. This is a poached egg pan. Um, it's really not just the poached egg pan, which is what I would like to find one day. It does some other funky stuff. Makes boiled eggs or something, but that is not why I got it. I got it for this piece right here. That is a poached egg maker pan. So I was all excited about that. And it, these pans make the best poached eggs. Well, as long as you don't overcook it. But... Anyways, I'm really not concerned about what the rest of it does. I paid $6 for it. So, that was a good deal. I'll have to check it out. Alright guys, that is everything. Look at my hat over there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go try to get this uploaded for you guys. And I will see you soon.